and welcome back to Sally Face. We're starting a new dawn, a new episode. This is gonna be episode two this time. So, uh, we're playing back with our boy Sally Boy, um, and apparently we murdered somebody. Don't know why, don't know how, don't know even more how. But, um, I don't remember what this episode is called, but I realized that look at that guy's face. He's got freaking awful, guys. So I think we're gonna go talk to Larson. Probably he's probably at the end of this hallway. He wanted to go show me something. What? What? Okay, go outside. Wait a second. Wait, how did I get a jacket on? It snowed outside, bro. Look at us go. Can we make some snowballs? Can we throw some snowflakes? Can we do some snow angels? Whoa! How come you never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to. To be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. It's a tree house! Awesome. Oh my god, he has a tree house? No one told me that? That's awesome. Climb, climb up the tree house. It looks so cool. Oh, I just want to touch it to my lips. This is so cool. I've always wanted a tree house when I was younger. Yeah, my dad built it for me when he disappeared. Wait, what? What do you mean, disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay, and then the next day he was just gone. No, no, no nothing. And all these things were still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license, everything. He just disappeared. Damn. I'm so sorry, Larry. I don't know how hard that is. I know how hard that is. Did your parents not get along? No, my parents loved each other. They hardly even fought or anything. It isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. Even if that's what my mom chooses to believe. I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you. So what, what do you think happened? Look, you know I'm not genuinely superstitious. And I know you and Chug swear that the apartments are haunted, but... Well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got firecrackers and they told me many so many times for to wait for them, not to play with them on my own, but I just couldn't resist, dude. I lit a few out back and one ended up in Miss Gibbon's open window. It killed her pet rabbit. It killed her pet rabbit? Oh man, that's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Miss Gibson, and she was screaming at me like crazy, as if she needed an I need another reason to piss off that old hag, that old bag, sorry. I felt horrible, though. That poor bunny. Anyway, as I was coming down the elevator, that's when I saw the de demon that we saw. He reached out and touched me. I got this super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. I thought I was losing my mind. I was gone as quick as he came, just as the doors opened. He cursed me because of what I did. He cursed me. Everything in my line was fricked up after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. She, I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. Oh man, I'm not the bike. I missed so much school. I had to take summer classes. It's one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Miss Sanderson, everything. Whoa, hold on, man. Even if there is some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself ever for every bad thing that happens. Global warming, can't stop anything about that. World hunger, sorry, man. It's not all your fault. What did this demon look like? It was like nothing I've ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty, but it had the form of a man. And the eyes were the worst part. These deep red eyes that pierced right through you. Holy shiz. What? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. I've seen it in the kitchen. No way. When? I swear, I've seen it in this building, just like you described. I bet it's linked to some other ghost too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Maybe there's some clues around that could help. We can try and find out more about the ghost, see if we can get to the bottom of this. 
Sure, why not? I've got nothing to lose other than my life. All right. How do we do these clues? Pictures, cabinets, pictures. Oh, it's such a lovely family. Huh, that's strange. What is that? It's the family portrait? I found this weird gear boy cartridge in the lost and found box while a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. What? What? What kind of game thing? Uh, le okay, let's say. Okay, Gear Boy cartridge. Game Boy cartridge. What kind of Game Boy cartridge freaking reacts to radioactive activity? What the hell? That was one of the last pictures we took together. Not long before he disappeared. Hmm. I better keep looking. Yeah, you freaking better, Sammy boy. Anything here? Um, the box. There's some... Okay, keep looking. Take. Take. Hey, Larison. What's this box? What's in the box? I have no idea, man. Belong to my dad. Some kind of puzzle box. Could never figure out how to open it though. Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. Jesus Christ, Larison! If you you if you would take a little bit more time, do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. Sick. All right. Let just let me know if you get it open. Of course. Got it. Okay. How do I get this thing open? Chest. I got a weird box from here. It doesn't seem to be any else. No. Okay. Cabinet. Nothing useful in there. Oh, fudge my abs. Do I leave? Is there a thing to leave? I think I'll leave. Okay, I'm gonna leave and then I'm gonna see what we can do. I'm gonna go look around and see what else I can find out. Okay, sounds good. I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Uh, what? Yeah, I noticed that. Let me know if you find anything you need. If there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. Alright, cool. Okay, what the hell? Okay, we have to find a key. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. I don't know any of these people. Maybe there's... Oh, wow, I have pi we have pictures. How long have I been here? We're going to go out and we're going to go talk to Megan. I don't know who Megan is. Oh, is that Megan? Hello? Chug, what are you up to? Hey, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack guy to fill the machine. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. I hear ya. I like to start the weekend off with video games and cartoons. Do you see the new Rico's Modest Wife episode? Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too. Nice. Okay, laundry. Okay, so we've been here for some while, I guess. Okay, lost and found. Doesn't look like anything I can use right now. Suck you. Okay, wait. Why is it so scary here, though? Okay, what happened here, though? Oh! What the hell? I should call Larry up here so he, he can meet Megan. Then I'll have to believe Addison... What? Larry, you there? I'm here, what's up? Can you come up to 504? Sure, my mom just took her medicine and she passed out for a little while anyways. I'll be right up. What? So, what is it you wanted to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. What? Are we gonna go talk to a freaking demon? She? Just come on. Oh, uh, Larry, Larison. Uh, that's the bedroom. No, the bathroom. Wrong place. Damn, these flip four rooms have seen better days. Shh. What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? I want you to meet my friend Larry. I don't think there's anything in here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy, though. I haven't been able to get her to come out for a while now. I hope she's okay. Are we talking to ghosts? So you come up to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl. How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her a few times, like, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. As weird as this is, I believe you, okay? You're my best bud, and if this helps out with finding my dad, then I'm all for it. I nearly thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling. Dude, you know who be a, you should go talk to? Todd. 
He's probably the smartest kid I know, and he's also the supernatural stuff like you are. I bet you he can help somehow. Todd? Really? I've never expected him to believe in such stuff. He's always seemed so... Normal? Rational? Huh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. Alright, I'm gonna go hang down downstairs and make sure my mom's okay. Let me know if I find anything. Will do. So I can't talk to... Megan. Why can't I talk to Megan? Am I talking to ghosts? Okay, I saw Todd's place was like level 2. Alright, sick. Todd's place. Ha! Ah, Todd! Hello? Hey, Sally Face. Oh, God, it's him. Sorry, it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hey, I'm Ash. Jesus Christ, hello! Hi! You got big eyes! He must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. I, uh, um, me? Yeah, you have? Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm finally, I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Uh, me too. Uh, I mean, you too. Um, I mean, it's nice to have met you as well. Well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. Cause I'm a dumb shit and I don't know any math. No, no problem. We can work on more algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I'll run into you again soon, Sally Face. Uh, yeah, that, that'd be awesome. I think someone's got a crush on somebody. Enjoy the weekend, boys. Bye, Ashley. Such a nice lad. You too. All right. You're right, Sal. You, you, you seem a bit anxious. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so freaking awesome. Okay, what brings you this way? Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What is she like? Her name is... Her full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman like us and an overall nice person. She has got some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art projects. She sounds like a great friend. Sure, I suppose. You didn't come here to talk about Ashley, though. So what's up? Oh, right. I see dead people. I need your help. Do you believe in ghosts? Uh, do you believe in ghosts? I believe in paranormal occurrences and the possibilities of consciousness enduring beyond death. Why the, why the hesitation? Wrong character. Why the hesitation? <laughs> this way, having witnessed an unexplainable phenomenon firsthand, I would require concrete evidence to declare with certainty. I've spat everywhere. I bet I believe in ghosts, though. Though I do find the subject to be quite fascinating. That makes sense. Alright, I see that I need your help. Thank you for telling me your story. I think I maybe have some assistance with your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that an apparition resides in my bathroom. What the? Huh, really? Yes, it does seem to be a strange coincidence that you're Megan and my app appar 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 I freaking can't speak English apparition are both found in bathrooms. However, however, it could be that the water pipes act as some kind of conductor for them. So, that is the only speculation on my part. Do you have the gear bar cactus with you now? Yeah. Perfect, let's go check out the bathroom. What do you usually call do to a call upon Megan? Does the gear boy always light up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time. Usually I just start talking to you. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, go ahead and try something here so I can attempt to summon the spirit. Hello? Is uh, anyone here? We're not going to hurt you. We're your friends. Hello? Is anyone there? I swear, if a ghost freaking pops up, nothing is happening and the game isn't lighting up either. Hmm, I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your Game Boy, your Gear Boy, to help better de detect natural, nat supernatural hotspots. Cool, sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. 
First, I'll need something to amplify the device's reception, and second, something to boost its electrical output. So like an antenna and a battery pack? Sure, I'll be in my room, once you're ready. Okay, I need to find these things? Sock! Where am I gonna find the freaking battery pack and everything like that? <coughs> okay, do you think there's batteries around here somewhere? Can I find them at his place? Leave Todd's parents' room, Todd's room. Oh my god, Gizmo! What you watching, buddy? Oh! Oh, I love it. Sorry, Cookie. I accidentally just called it Cookie. My bad. All right. Batteries, batteries, batteries. Where do I find a good old battery? In the bathroom? Stereo. Did you ever tape that new Sanity's Fall song? Yeah, man, you want to hear it? Oh, yes! Oh, are we gonna... Oh, oh, yeah, baby! Oh, this is so cool. When is the beat drop? When is the... Ah! Oh, my God. What the heck? I love the way his freaking hair flips back and forth. All right, thanks for the song, man. Bob, I like your fish. That's Bob. He's okay. My parents insisted that I need more nature in my life to counterbalance all this, all this technology, as they put it. Okay, nice. Can you give me a battery? Will this work for reception? Will this work for power? Key car box. Oh my god. Walkie talkie. That antenna is a bit too small for our purposes. The key card? Although the key. The car does have a magnetic, uh, magnetic strip. I'm afraid this won't work for what we need. Puzzle box. Yes, the battery from your walkie-talkie will work perfectly. Good thinking, Sally Face. I'll be right back. Antenna, antenna, antenna. A few moments later. Oh. Hey, mind if I borrow this in the antenna from your scanner? Uh, I guess it's okay. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Oh, Jesus Christ. I saw that the antenna was there. I didn't know how to freaking get it. Jesus. Oh my god. This game sometimes. This game. Alright, whatever. Get up there. Get up to freaking 3 0. No, it's 2. Give it to him. Give it to him. Alright. Okay. Will this work for reception? The antenna. Oh my god. Uh, yes, this will work perfectly. With the two components you received and retrieved and my own equipment, I can adequately make the modifications to the gear boy I spoke of earlier. Give me a minute to get it ready. Oh my god, that took way too long. Jesus Christ. Okay, all set. Behold, the super gear boy. Nice. Um, cool? Don't worry, you can still play games on it. And will only be in ghost hunting mode while the strange cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome! You had me worried for a second there. However, I unfortunately need a few extra parts for your walkie talk from your walkie talkie, and I wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that's all right. Larry's not gonna be so happy about that. It's okay though. It's for a good cause. Wonderful! Now the best results. You'll need to hold the system out with the antenna fully extended. To do so, press the shift button, and the button the screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies in close proximity. While it's in flashing, press R button to reduce a large direction of what the fudge is. In my theory is correct, the surge of electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize nearby apparitions and possibly some supernatural elements as well. Okay, I think I got the gist of it. I suggest that we take it for a test run in my bathroom. Sounds good. All right, cool. All right, you're ready for the super gear? Okay. Shift. R. Hmm, maybe I... What the fudge? Oh my god! What are you? It worked. Holy crap. Hello, what's the matter? What the fudge? I, n I never thought he'd kill him. Uh, that's all my fault. Who? Stacy and her daughter. Oh God, what a fool I was to fall for a married woman. Stacy, why are you killing? It's never a crime to follow your heart. 
You must be a romantic, like I was. It's so kind for you to say, but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on? He's still crying. What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us or anything? No! No, no, no! What? What is it? He's here! Who? The red-eyed man who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go. I'm sorry. I saw stuff. That was a fully formed and con conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. You okay? Yeah, I I'm fine. It's just one thing to read about paranormal and formulate theories and the whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had filled my excitement for today, so I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into the history of Addison's apartments and see if I can find anything about past residents and what supposed mortars. That'd be really helpful. While you do that, I'm going to go search for more supernatural hotspots. The first thing was Megan. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I noticed some extraneous static around the game cartridge. You may want to check it out make sure it's okay. Okay. Oh boy. Scary. Okay, let's go around the the whole apartment seeing all the stuff. Okay, let's walk over to the kitchen. Huh? It's the demon. What the hell? What the fudge is that? What the? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Maybe there's a... The tree house. Check out my super gear boy. Todd made that? That's pretty awesome. Wait, is that my walkie-talkie? Uh, yeah, he needed the parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. I can get new ones. Damn, well, that's okay. Hopefully you'll find out more about these curses and my curse. Agreed. Okay, we have to go to the tree house. We have to go to the treehouse and do the, the whole thingy because my cartridge was, was blowing up. Alright. Let's go and see if we can talk to maybe there, his dad is there or something's there. Alright. Check us out. You're going to see how right I am in about two seconds. Alright. Haha! -ha. Go! What the fudge are you? So, who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? N n no, so I, my life will end. You're breaking up. I can't quite hear you. I'm sorry. I haven't much time. Uh, remember something, something. Remember the red ball, Sal. What do you mean? What are you? Uh, something. Bridge singing. Red ball, die, you, Sal, I don't know these words. How's that fair? Just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, then that happens. Whatever that was. My life is weird. You can say that again. Jesus Christ, Sal. Where would have supernatural spots? Level 5 absolutely would have supernatural spots. Alright, we're gonna go to all the floors and we're gonna see if there's any like ghosts or something I'm gonna see haha -ha! bird bird all right let's look around oh ah what the hell right in front of his Rosenberg this Rosenberg's been dead for years Miss Rosenberg's been dead for years. Oh, why? What is that hor horrific device you have? It's, uh, well, uh, it's sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things you should don't understand. Well, I should probably check in and talk again and see if he found anything. Oh, my God. Miss Rosenberg's dead. Straight up. Straight up, straight up dead. Okay, okay, okay. That's a uh, that's a no from me, Captain. Wait, you think there's anything in this room? 
No, nothing in this room. Okay, talk. Hi, Todd. Hi, uh, Miss Rosenberg's actually dead. It's strange that I can't find any reports for past murders. The only thing that comes up is our friend Charlie, but look at this photo of him in the public record. That just looks nothing like Charlie. What the? It gets even weirder. There's no trace of the officers that were here the day Miss Sanderson was killed. Not even the classified police reports. As if they weren't here at all, or they don't even exist. How is that possible? I'm not entirely sure, but I did find one interesting thing. It's a missing person file case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age 7, lived in Addison Partners with her parents, Luke and... S Stacy and her daughter. Ooh. Looks like it may be your little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom was telling us about. The stories line up, right? Well, there's where it gets weird again. There was an update to the report one day after the original, original was filed, stating that the girl was found dead in Windigo Lake. That's a few miles south from here, along with her parents. Says that there's been, they have been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mud flight or something. Oh my god, Megan looks horrible. That's definitely her. Wait a second. That kind of looks like Ashley. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never been wearing it to her when I talked to her, but I've seen it somewhere. Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with that super gear, perhaps finding the necklace will help somehow. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's like she had a connection to when she was alive. Now I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. I didn't see it anywhere! Where do you Lost find lost things? You sucker! I checked there multiple times and it said no. Hey, I'm gonna go to Lost and Found now. Of course it's in the freaking Lost and Found. I knew we saw the necklace somewhere. In the freaking Lost and Found. Jesus Christ. Am I gonna see Larry for sure? Or Larry, Larry will see my- Oh jeez, we're here already? Okay, work your magic when you're ready. Yeah, I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> okay. I have some something quarrels to take with this game for a second here. First of all, I don't like how I guess I don't I do like that the game you don't the, the game doesn't want you to move forward, I guess, without you going into certain events. But I went to the Lost and Found multiple times and it said, Oh, there's nothing in here that you might need and I was like, Frick, I guess there's nothing I need in the freaking thing. Oh, so I don't know. But I'm gonna leave this episode of Sally Face here. A little bit of a, a confusing one. Had to like look around a ton. I don't. I dislike where you have to like just click or just interact with random places to get stuff. Like the antenna, I had to actually get the antenna. I couldn't talk to Larry about getting the police antenna or anything like that. So that was really kind. It kind of bothered me a little bit, a small bit. But um, it's 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 all good. Next time we're gonna go see Megan. I don't know why Megan's here. And I guess now that since I have the necklace, she, cause I, I, I checked back here before and she didn't want to show up or anything like that. So who knows? But anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Really intriguing. You know, I, 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 I'm just intrigued. But if you did enjoy, blast the like button, visit the video game, please subscribe for some more boss awesome content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.